loyalty, respect, responsibility, humility, sympathy. You know, these are all just a few character traits that some of us actually harness. And understanding, you know, your character traits can have a huge implication on the success in your life. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you, you know, the importance of character building, as well as a few things you can do to start building your character. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Michael A. Benton with MichaelABenton.com. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You know, here we focus on helping men take control of their lives and achieving their desires. So if you're a man looking to better himself, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. You know, early on in life, we're all taught these certain characteristics that really help us become the adults that we are today. And I think through self-awareness and through self-development, we start to understand that some characteristics that we have actually hinder our ability to be fully successful in certain areas of our life. So I just wanted to share with you, you know, what are some ways that we can start help building our characteristics for the better? And just really want, wanted you to understand the importance of character building and how that equates to um, gratification and, and achieving things in your life. So stay tuned. You know, character is defined as the mental and moral qualities of a person that makes them different from other individuals, right? Uh, it, it defines who we are, you know, how we interact with other people, and ultimately how we how we face life, right? How we handle challenges in our life. And typically when you hear the word character, you associate that with labels like dishonest and responsible, respectable, sympathetic, uh, empathetic, things of that nature. You know, and I think it's very important that we understand you know, how our character directly affects, you know, how successful and unsuccessful we are as it relates to, you know, careers, relationships, finances, um, spirituality, personal development, all these different areas of life. You know, if, you, if you're not mindful of, of the characteristics that you're portraying, you know, and putting out there, you know, that could really have a, a, a damaging effect, you know, when it comes to getting a job. You know, if, you're, if your characteristic is to be laid back and lazy and maybe not as responsible, you know, then again, that could poorly reflect on uh, your results um, at your job and which could ultimately lead to ultimately lead to you being fired or or let go or you having to quit or whatever the case may be. And so we just need to be cognizant and, and aware of our characteristics that we that we have. And if we do have characteristics that we don't like or that aren't um, helping us fulfill a need in a certain way, then we need to change those, right? We need to start building, um, replacing those particular characteristics with, with better ones, ones that will um, ultimately lead to our success in whatever area that, that looks like for you. So the first thing I wanted to do was just start off with why it's so important. You know, one of the ways why I think character building is so important to reaching gratification is because your character defines your life outcome. If you are um, a person who uh, characteristics embody being lazy and um, not responsible and unemotional and all of these negative traits, these character traits, then more than likely you are a type of person that may not see the level of success that you adhere to, right? That's not to say that you can't be successful, um, but you won't be as fully successful as you possibly can. And, and those particular negative traits won't serve you um, in the long run, you know, at some point, these things are going to catch up to you. People are going to um, notice your character, right? They're going to judge you off of your character. When you have conversations with top low executives or friends or families um, or people that you're trying to do business with, whatever the case may be, as they begin to talk to you more, as they begin to um, have certain conversations with the way, you, the way you talk, the way you respond to um, judgment, the way, you, the way you laugh, right? The way you interact. People are starting to get a sense of your character and they can tell when someone is phony, right? They can tell when someone um, is judgmental. They can tell when someone is irresponsible. They can tell when someone is um, not honest, right? They can, they, can, they can sense that. And when they are able to sense that from you, then obviously that, that weakens a relationship, right? And now they start to have doubt about your character. They start to have doubt about your abilities and what you can do and whether or not it's true or not, you know, and whether your word really becomes nothing. Now you have to um, solely rely on your actions, right? To overturn um, what it is that their, uh, their perception of you, uh, you have to, you have to do that by action. And so, you know, again, it's all about having the right characteristics. You know, if we're wanting to have a life of success, whatever that may mean to you, it can be, you know, just being a great dad. It can be, 
you know, being a great husband. Um, it could be something in your finances. It could be something with your career, you know, your whatever the case may be, whatever the level of success you want, your character is going to help you define that level of success, whether you be successful or, or unsuccessful. So again, you want to be able to embody certain characteristics um, in order to achieve the things that you want. Now, if you've been living this life, you know, for some time now, and you've fallen into the habit of having bad characteristics, you know, of being lazy and, um, you know, being the type of person who's not really sympathetic or empathetic to people, you know, um, again, that's, that's going to be a little harder for you to, for you to break, right? Because you've been doing it for so long. You've been, you've been acting on those particular characteristics for so long. But if you want to change those things, um, then there is a way, right? There is a way to do that. And it's, again, it's about being cognizant. It's about being self-aware of of the traits that are hindering you and that's stopping you from from living the way that you want to live so i think it's very important that you just understand um what characteristics that you're embodying and, and what you're putting out there and if it doesn't match you know the the the, the persona of, of what it is that you want it to be then you got some work to do right i think the second reason you know why it's so important uh, for character building is because you can either evolve or you can die now, I've already, I'm sure you've all heard the same that theme before, but it's absolutely true. You know, if you're not willing to um, change because of the, the the times have changed, the circumstances are always going to be different. You know, uh, the the things that you're going after, if you're if you're continually continually to fail and you're not achieving, there needs to be some change, right? There are things and things things need to be different, and um, your characteristic is something that you can change, right? Now, typically, your characteristics, you know, your your character is, is a commitment. It's a high level of standard that you set for yourself. Your characteristic is self-imposing. So that means that, you know, it doesn't take the police to um, impose those particular characters on yourself. It doesn't take your parents or your spouse or anyone else but yourself. You know, you choose to have the, the, the characteristics that you want and that you want to um, portray. And so if you're not evolving and, and you know, and, and changing and, and making sure that your characteristics align truly with who you are and, and how you want that to um, be portrayed amongst your friends, your family, your peers, coworkers, anything like that, then ultimately you're not going to have the level of success that you desire. You know, so let's say that, you know, being aggressive, right, is part of your characteristic, um, you know, and you're trying to, you know, be a manager, right? Or you're in a manager position or you're trying to get a certain type of job or maybe that's re it relates to your finances and how aggressive you are at your stocks and your investments. You know, if you embody that trait, that may not serve you in certain areas of your life as it will in others, you know? So you have to be able to adjust. You can't be aggressive as a manager to certain people, right? Everyone typically needs to be able to, um, you need to be able to adapt to certain people, right? Certain people, everyone can't be coached the same way. Everyone can't be managed the same way. You can't be aggressive to everyone, you know, because again, that doesn't, that doesn't help the team, right? That doesn't help the overall goal. Um, however, that same characteristic that you have with your management may work for you when you go to um, talk about your investments, right? And you are you know, depending on the criteria, let's say you're young and you're wanting to invest and you're more aggressive, right? So you're going after more stocks um, and you, you know, you're doing less bonds and things of that nature um, and, and mutual funds and stuff like that. So you're being more aggressive early on. And that, in that sense, that particular character, characteristic of yourself can serve you, right? So you, you see that certain situations really a lot for certain characteristics. Um, and so if I believe that you can you can be adaptable to certain situations with your characteristics. Now, normally when you talk to someone and they say that their character stays the same, right? It never changes. If you're um, obviously, you know, if you're gonna be honest and respectful and, and responsible, those things should never change. You should always be, no matter what the situation may be, it, you should always be honest, respectful um, and responsible, right? But you can't always be aggressive. You know, there's certain characteristics. You can't always be bossy, right? Um, and so you just need to be able to evolve in certain situations and adapt. And if you're not, again, cognizant of doing that, more than likely you will fail. 
All right, so comment below and share what is one character trait that you would like to improve on? I think the third reason why character building is so important to achieving gratification um, is what does your character say about you, right? Now you gotta understand, let's say you're your dad out there and you have children and there are certain character traits that you embody um, that your children will then end up picking up on. Again, as I relate this to being bossy, right? Or being negative, um, you know, those are certain things that, certain traits that you, you don't wanna pass on to your children, right? Um, you know, and, and again, it goes back to what are you wanting your peers to perceive you as, to see you as? You know, how do you wanna be looked upon by your peers, by your coworkers, by your family, by your friends? You know, um, you ever meet someone who Maybe you just met them for the first time, but you could just tell like they have a really sincere um, kind of just character about them, right? You kind of just you kind of just sense that they're a really good person, that they're honest and they're trustworthy. They're just all of these good traits, right? You can just they have this aura, right? Have you ever been around someone like that? I know I have. I've met quite a few people who just when you talk to them, just the way they talk and the way they present themselves and how they um, interact and, and, and give you feedback. Yeah, I can just tell that they're a genuine, nice person, right? And there's not a bad bone in their body. That is how I personally want to be perceived, right? And that's the, that's the type of, um, that's the type of persona that I want to give off to people that I interact with. You know, I'm just a genuinely sympathetic, honest person, you know, and even through these YouTube videos, I'm okay with just discussing my personal life, you know, and telling it like it is. And it is what it is, but that's, that's just part of my character. That's just who I am. That's just, it, it makes me feel, um, you know, one with myself, right? It's just, it's natural. It's just natural for me to be honest about my particular life because that's, that's just who I am. So, um, again, it's, it's, it's all about what does your character say about yourself and, and what do you want your character to 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 say to other people you know so be cognizant of of what you're putting out there be cognizant of who you are who you're becoming right it's very important to know who you're becoming as you as you transition and transform your life as you go through you know self-development and and you know and reading books and and just trying to better yourself um know what it is that you you want to portray and i think those three things are really powerful reasons um, why it's important to continue to keep building your character. You know, we're never done. You know, we, we, we can read all the books we want. It, there's still more to learn, right? There's still more knowledge to obtain. There's still more action to take upon what you um, are, are, are reading and, and what you're consuming. And uh, just like anything, it's, it's always, it's never ending. So continue to build upon yourself and to continue to be self-aware of, of the person that you're, are and the person that you want to become and make the necessary changes as you go along. And, and I guarantee you, you're going to have success in, in whatever area um, that you're looking to be better in. So those would be my reasons as to why it's important uh, to continue building on your character to reach gratification or achievement. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, great, you know, I, there's some characteristics of myself that I want to change. You know, I got some, I got some bad traits that I, I, I really don't want to portray and put out there. And, and I want to be able to make that change, but how do I how do I rebuild my characteristics, right? How do I rebuild my my traits? And I'm going to share with you just a few kind of a few steps that you can you can do to really start to alter and change um, the characteristics about yourself, and and be able to embody the ones that you do want, and get rid of those ones that you've you've been living with for so long. So the first thing that I would tell you to do is is really just to be selfless, right? Um, you know, regardless of what it is that you're doing have a different mind frame about it. Be, be, be in the embodiment that you just want to give, right? And it's, it has nothing to do with you and what you get out of the situation, what you can obtain. It's all about everyone else, right? And not yourself. And being selfless opens you up for being compassionate, right? For being empathetic, for being sympathetic. You know, so if you have traits that are opposite of those particular ones that I just mentioned, um, then that is a great way for you to 
um, to reverse that, right? And to start building upon good traits, you know? So I would say being selfless, a, being, a, a selfless act would be something like volunteering, right? Um, at a homeless shelter or, you know, volunteering at a local boys ranch, you know what I'm saying? Um, giving your time to whatever organization that you believe in, you know, um, speaking, you know, talking to uh, people who were in your position as you were, you know, if you were poor and you had rough times growing up and you've overcame that, you know, give that information back, give that knowledge that you've obtained to get, to allow you to get to where you are, give it back to that same group of people, that same person that was a resemblance of you when you were coming up, you know, so again, be selfless is, is one of the steps that you can do to um, alter your your character traits. The second step I would tell you to do is to find a mentor or a role model. You know, um, if you're wanting to rebuild your, your character, you, you may want to symbolize it after someone that you look up to, right? Or someone that you um, find interesting and, and find that they portray um, and resemble a type of person that you would want to portray, right? And be. Um, so, you know, people like Gandhi and um, Muhammad Ali, um, you know, these type of people are, are people that embody certain characteristics that I would like to have myself, you know, Muhammad Ali in, in, in a sense is someone who is strong, right? And someone who they, they speak their mind, right? They speak their truth. Um, and they also, um, helped other people, um, you know, they were sympathetic to other people. They understood, right? And so those are particular traits from Muhammad Ali that I would love to embody for myself, you know? So just finding someone out there who, again, resembles the type of person, the type of characters, uh, characteristics that you would like to have for yourself. Um, and I think that's a great way. The more time you spend with that person, the more time you're able to interact with that person, speak with that person, watch their videos, read their books, the more you'll begin to open yourself up. You'll be receptive to, um, again, the type of person that they are, right? The aura that they give off. Um, and, and before you know it, you know, you'll be that loving, that genuine person or whatever the characteristic that you want, you'll start to embody that and, and, and push that off on others. You know, and the third step that I would say to help you building your character is to be accountable to yourself. You know, no one's going to want it as bad as you do. Right. Um, and no one's going to, for the most part, hold you, um, to what it is that you're saying, what it is that you're wanting. So again, you know, be, be more productive, right? Be um, be more in tune. So time blocking is a, is a great option for you to be more accountable, right? Um, time block certain hours or days or minutes um, of your days and, 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 and use that time to read more books, to listen to uh, YouTube videos, um, to study yourself, to study the person, your mentor or your role model, right? Also things like setting goals and, and actions or steps to those goals. You know, so have you have yourself a, a, a five month goal and make sure you're checking yourself, you know, every month or you're checking yourself, your progress, you know, every couple of weeks, you know, making sure that you're you're staying on pace and you're doing what it is that you need to do to then start to, you know, incorporate those characteristics that you want and to get rid of the ones that you don't want. You know, and the fourth step that I would tell you is to embrace your challenges. You know, there's not going to be anything other than, you know, going through, um, going up against your fears and, and the challenges that you face and um, that's going to build more character than that, right? Because, you know, as they say, you, you find out what you're made of when you um, are in the face of your fear or, or, or challenges. And so if you're wanting to change the characteristic traits that you have, the negative ones you want to get rid of, then you need to face the challenges that you're going to um, come up against. And it's not going to be easy. You know, it may be a slow process because you've, you've embodied these particular negative traits for so long, but um, it's definitely doable, right? And so you just have to understand in your mind, again, why you're wanting to make these changes. And that's going to help you propel you to continue forward when you face these, these challenges. All right, so those are my top four reasons on how you can start building you know, your character to, again, portray the, the ones that you want and to start um, relinquishing the negative traits that are stopping you from being as successful as you possibly can in whatever, whatever endeavor you seek, right? Whatever area of life that you're trying to get better in. And as you begin working towards becoming a better person, a better father, better husband, you know, you may become aware of some areas that, that may need some fine tuning, right? They may need to 
um, you may need to rethink how you how you utilize those. They may not be serving you um, like they have in the past. And really accountability and clarity is going to help you uh, really fine tune those areas and get really deep down in, in what it is that we wanna change. And so I urge you to click the link in the description below to schedule your free um, discovery call with myself. Um, and again, this is just a call where we can get very clear on your goals um, and, and, and what it is that, that may be stopping you or hindering you from, from achieving those things and what steps or actions do you need to take to make sure that you're, you're successful. So again, click on the link in the description below to schedule your free discovery call. All right, so be sure to check out these next videos as you continue building on your mindset and becoming the man that you want to be. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.